So when somebody comes to see us and discloses um, symptoms suggestive of depression, we need to do a bit of an assessment to find out what's going on. And usually uh, we want to know all about their symptoms. We may also want to know a bit about the background, whether something has happened to them that's triggered the depression. We might want to know about some of the support structures they have, so how do they get on with their family and their friends, who they might have told already, and also the impact the depression might be having on them, so whether they're off work, whether they're unable to study, things like that. So for most cases of depression, there are three different elements. There's an element of biochemistry, which may be partly genetic. There's an element of learned coping strategies, particularly during adolescence, how the individual has learned to build their self-esteem or to relate to other people or what their view of themselves is. And then the third component is, is the environment they're in. And medication is obviously working on the biochemistry. And the current theory of depression is that it's largely due to a lack of serotonin in the right place at the right time. And most of the antidepressants we have work on serotonin to boost serotonin levels in the brain, in the pathways that determine the mood. Other treatments, obviously psychological treatments, may be directed at, at the learned coping strategies and learning better ways of dealing with things, better ways of looking at things, better ways of getting a good perspective on problems. On the first consultation, it's possible we may not finish the assessment, particularly if the patient has only got an ordinary 10-minute appointment. So it's possible we may ask them to come back in a couple of days or a week to see how things are going. But if their depression is more serious, we might offer them treatment on the first consultation. And that treatment might be talking treatments, it might be medication, uh, or it might be something else and occasionally for mild depression things like lifestyle changes may be more important like cutting down on alcohol or getting more exercise they may be more important in some situations so some people uh, think that taking an antidepressant is just a crutch and it's not really dealing with the with the underlying problems and sometimes that's true but sometimes people really need medication to relieve the symptoms, to make it possible for them to deal with underlying issues. And it really does depend on the individual. And it's always in negotiation. We're never telling the patient what to do. It's always up to the patient. We're advising them on what we think might help them. It's up to them whether they want to use it. So it's also important to understand that what goes on in a GP surgery is strictly confidential. We will not tell anyone about what happens in the consultation without the permission of the student or the patient. And often we will tell people because we're asked to, and a lot of depressed people don't realise just how much other people want to help them, whether it's an employer, a tutor, uh, the slight exception there is if somebody is at serious risk of harming themselves. So if somebody tells us that they're going to do something to damage themselves or somebody else, we may have to act on that depending on the severity of it. So if a student wants to see the GP to talk about depression, sometimes it's useful to ask for a double appointment when you book the appointment. That gives the GP a bit more time to listen and deal with the problem sympathetically and thoroughly. Other things you might find helpful are bringing a list, a list of symptoms, a list of worries, a list of concerns. It might also be really helpful to bring along a friend, a close friend or a relative. Sometimes people with depression are quite reluctant to come forward and they can end up in a deeper and deeper hole and then come along when they've already lost a lot of time to the depression, when the symptoms have got worse. It's quite important to come along sooner rather than later. Sometimes when people are depressed they can feel quite hopeless. 
that's the depression talking. The vast majority of people make a really good recovery, at least at some point, even if they have another episode of depression in the future. Most people will go through periods where they do feel back to normal, where they do feel well. And it's really important sometimes for us to tell patients who, who've lost hope that that's the case. That's just chemistry, this is just the depression talking and that they can get better again. Thank you.